Hello guys and welcome to my new video. In this video I'll try to talk a bit about the racing line. So do we really need to be at a certain point on track to be fast? And le let's see here we in the we are in the 235 i racing, which is a great car to to learn because we don't have a lot of power, we have we have a quite amount of grip so we can we can do some stuff so uh, I'll try to show a good line and then a bad line and try to do a fast lap with, with a fast line. So here in the first corner in branch out, you need to stay outside and then wait a bit to keep the car inside just a little bit then you go hard on throttle not hitting the sand. You break on the outside and then you go like late and wait a bit and then go hard on throttle to the exit. Here you need to try to hit the inside curb just a little bit, not too much because the car will jump and you lose a lot of speed. Here you need to break a bit soon and go inside and then go on throttle as soon as you can but without spinning the wheels because if you spin a bit you, lose, you can lose a lot just by a little mistake. Here you keep on the outside and then keep it on the inside and try to go on throttle as soon as you can but without going too wide. Here you break outside, you throw the car inside and it depends on how fast you enter but you can go on outside a lot there or not. Here you just try to hit the curb so that the corner is as tight as possible. Here you try to go inside so you can hit that curb and power on to the last corner. Here you brake and keep it on the inside so you can then power it on to the finish straight without hitting the, the grass too much. So what, uh, what, what can we do wrong? You can be uh, here for example and then when you enter you will enter too hard when you go at full speed and then you just go on the sand and you lose a lot of speed. Here we can go on the inside uh, but then it will be... Uh, you, you can't go as soon on throttle and then you lose a bit of time here at, at least in this track. Here if you don't hit this apex basically you, your entry speed will be a lot slower and you lose a lot of speed and here this corner is a bit hit and miss because you can uh, slide off track here a bit and it's, a, it's a really hard corner too because you can do it in different ways with uh, both of them with good results and this, this corner just avoid to be inside because it's a fast corner you need to to do a line that you can keep a lot of speed in the middle of it. Here don't forget to just hit the curve a little bit and then just just go. But the racing line is is important because in the end it's what you'll do all the time and you need to perfect your line so you can do it over and over again like almost the same time so you can be consistent with no racing line you can't be consistent so let's try to do a fast lap now so uh, before we do a fast lap what can we conclude to be on track at the correct place it will help you a lot to achieve your lap times but First you need to find your line, you need to keep that line over and over again. You can't be on the left on one lap, be on the right on the other lap, try to enter. You need to, to keep that line and then you need to of course improve your breaking points. But the line you need to try to, to understand what line can you do to be fast and then use that line the best you can with the way you enter the corner, the way you accelerate, then with your inputs you need to improve that line but you need to find the line by watching other guys, by 
learning yourself, but you need to find the correct line for you and try to improve upon that line to achieve your best lap. So let's see the, the fast lap and let's see what you can take of the stock setup in the 235i in Brentwood. So, in the end we managed the 35.5, which is around 7 tenths or 8 tenths from the best lap time in sim racing system, that was at 134.7 with probably with setup, this lap was with uh, default setup. In some cars you can really do a lot with the stuff setup, you just need to practice, and then in the end if you can't improve your lap time, you may try another setup, but in the end, open wheel cars, you definitely need a setup, but some cars, like slower cars, you, you don't need a setup to really be fast. So I hope you can take something for th from this, from the line you can do. You need to try different approaches, but you need then to stick to the one that you are faster. And to that, I suggest to using uh, Delta Bar from the game. The, the one that is in race apartment, try to use one to learn yourself uh, the best line, the best way to to approach the corners, the best way to be fast. There is a lot of time to to get from your skills, and you always improve and always believe in yourself. Thank you for watching. See you next time.